So this just happened a few weeks ago, right? We had Trump and Kamala go at it at a debate. I've only watched the highlight reels. I didn't look too deep into it and I know how polarizing this stuff can be. But if you followed both of them in the public eye, you come to realize that both of these people have mastered personal branding. Trump reinforced his image by positioning himself as an outsider, somebody who's going to go against the uh, established norms. Kamala Harris has built her image around being someone who breaks barriers, uh, which strongly resonates with her younger audience and diverse voters. Now, keep in mind, I'm not going to get political here. I'm just observing up north from here in Canada. But these two completely built a recognizable personal brand for themselves and it resonates with their audience. And what's crazy is they can even use that to influence public perception. Anyways, to me, that's just a crazy amount of power. And so coincidentally, last week, I had two guests on my podcast. Both were in very different stages of their land investing. One was, you know, just started this year. Another who had been doing it his entire life. In fact, his family was involved in land prior him getting started. Finally, both are working on larger tracts of land as well. But what really got me thinking was that both called this a marketing game. It's like land is unlike a lot of other real estate assets. This becomes a deal making game. Now, I'm not going to spoil who the guests are. You're just going to have to wait for the episode. So if you haven't subscribed to us on Spotify, iTunes or YouTube, make sure you do. It's called the Land Investing Business Secrets Podcast. But anyways, a couple takeaways from interviewing both of these people. Yes, I mentioned it. Land is a deal making game. But number two, one that never really gets talked about is that personal branding can be so powerful. And I think it is completely underutilized in this space. With personal branding, it allows you to work with certain buy boxes, meaning a specific audience that you can offload your property to. Number two, it makes you very, very discoverable. You're gonna be able to stand out from the rest of everybody else. Number three, you can be in the middle of many deals because you've built a personal brand, you have authority, you have an image. People are going to reach out to you, making you the middle of a lot of deals. And lastly here, think local and think virtual. This will probably make more sense in the episodes itself, but personal branding allows you to conquer both. By the way, if you know of anybody who does a phenomenal job with personal branding in the land space or even house space or maybe another person you're following, leave it in the comments below. I'd love to actually bring another guest on to talk more about personal branding. Anyways, you're going to like the upcoming episodes, so make sure you do subscribe. All right. So other than that, uh, just seeing what's going on in the world of politics and what I saw last week, it was just quite coincidental with the guests I had on. I do want to give you an update on what's going on with Pebble from the inside. So really exciting. Apple has our app now. The approval process, I'm not even sure how it works. It's sort of a mysterious thing. You know, you get everything lined up, you submit it to them, and you can only cross your fingers to hope that everything passes their, you know, their requirements. So as of recording this right now, this is still being approved. Hopefully by the time you guys watch this, it's already out on the iOS app store. Now you're going to be able to start off with some of the basics, making calls, notifications, texting, all within uh, your mobile app. It's going to tie in natively with your phone as well. So it's really exciting to see that all come together here. Also, can't hint too much on this. I'm really excited about this, but Pebble serves land investors. And this is why we're so excited to continue to evolve the platform to do more, to add more value. And if you ever want to see what we're up to, make sure again to subscribe to us on YouTube and, and, and hit that notification icon because Kevin and I would go live on YouTube sharing every month what's going on. But I'm really excited about some of the data that we're going to have inside of Pebble. I think this is going to add a tremendous amount of value uh, to you guys and add money back to your pocket and save you guys a ton of time. Remember, Pebble is a platform. It has the ability to be a CRM. It has a the ability to be property record centric, unless unlike a lot of CRMs out there that are sort of contacts uh, centric. And then now it has the ability to continue to serve data and play a role um, in sort of your data needs process. So I'm really excited about that. And that is coming up. I want to know also in the comments, if you're using platforms like RE Grid or Land ID, what do you what do you capture from those platforms? My general conclusion here is that you're using it for your due diligence. So what are you actually getting in there? Is it flood zones, wetlands? List it out in the um, in the comments below. 
uh, you can definitely help shape what we're doing right now. Anyways, speaking about data, I think a lot of you guys aren't even aware of this. And I just found out recently, some people don't even know about this, but we've got an awesome free tool called the Pebble Pricer. This is a huge time saver when it comes to looking at pricing, doing comps, calculating comps. Um, you can log, I mean, it's a Chrome extension that exists on the top of your browser when you're on sites like Zillow, Redfin, or whatever sort of marketplace, uh, real estate marketplace site. You can scrape that data for you, uh, and then you can start playing around with the properties on there, uh, removing properties, and uh, again, it'll allow you to run some uh, pricing calculation on there, allow you to export it out. So huge, huge time saver. If you haven't heard of it, it's called the Pebble Pricer. Just head over to pebblerei.com slash pricer to grab that. Anyways, there's a ton that we're working on specifically for land investors. I'm really excited. Again, if you're not sure what's going on, all the new stuff that is going on, we also have something every week I call the office hours. So I share best practices every other week. My customer success manager is there, Andrea. She's there sort of um, answering questions as well. If you wanna learn more about that, head over to pebblerei.com slash office, and you can add that to your calendar so you don't miss out. Each week, you can come with your questions. We're happy to share uh, new and best practices, completely lost storage space right at the end of this video as I was wrapping it up. Anyways, that's it for this time's update. Stay tuned for more. Excited to continue to keep you guys along the Pebble journey with us. See you on the next one.